the GW Parkway to become a, a motorable road. All of us here who have to use that road have sustained damage to our cars. I know it's a federal property, but it runs through our county and other Sure. Um, I wish I had a timetable at hand. I would say that uh, Congressman uh, Byer uh, prevailed on the National Park Service. I know with Delia uh, Prezak, Senator Sherman, and myself in support to do a, a study. Now, you think, oh, a study doesn't do much, but what we're studying is alternatives to get to build support for the National Park Service to do something. I mean, when people take a left hand turn in the morning, they should not be taking their life and throwing hands. Uh, in terms of a in terms of a timetable, I'd say uh, about 20 years after Paul's in Congress, said best. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Haney. Yeah, the GW Parkway has, has been a, an issue since they did the rack realignment for Boulevard. That's increased the traffic down there, and the traffic is coming from out of state. And they don't understand that it's a scenic bypass on Route One, and they they treat it like it's a freeway. And they're doing 60, 65, 70 miles an hour. It's a dangerous, dangerous road. My wife drove my son, my youngest son, to West Potomac from our neighborhood in Riverside Gardens for four years. Even though he had a car, he was afraid to drive on the GW Parkway. He drives on 95 now because he's a graduate from VCU, summa cum laude, by the way. Um, but, he, but he refused to drive on there because of the danger of the road. It's a serious consequence to everybody who goes out there. We need to do something about it. It wasn't in the planning when they did the realignment, the base realignment, no one could foresee, I guess, that there'd be this many people taking that route down toward Baltimore. So something has to be done. It's, and that's certainly a bipartisan issue where we can get something to work out that we can we can stop what's going on and you know, fix that. And, and return it to what it should be, which is a which is a, a scenic byway that we should all enjoy going out there on a Sunday afternoon and and, and not not take our lives in our hands. And yeah. No, I agree 100%. It's, it's a dangerous road. People speed on it. We need much better enforcement of, their, of the speed. You know there's only one police officer, one park police officer for, from the airport, the top of the airport, all the way to Mount Vernon Plantation. Only one that patrols that whole area. It's, it's, it's a travesty. We have been working hard with Senator Servell as well, and, and also with Supervisor Stork, in trying to get the uh, this public, the safety uh, study that's finally happening and it needs to happen and, and thank also to Don Byer, Congressman Byer, for making it happen. And I hope everybody in this room has taken advantage of being able to uh, write or call or email into the, uh, there's a number and I've been sending out my newsletter and I think it's been in the Gazette where you can you can uh, suggest your ideas and your um, what you want to see on that part. But remember it's historic and it, you can't, you know, you've got to, Keep the same kind of curvy, windy road feel to it, and, but there's going to be a lot of changes. I think that are going to that are, everybody's going to be very happy to see. Um, but it's it, it's definitely a priority, and I think you're right. It will be a, it's a bipartisan. Everybody agrees something must be done. There's been too many. It's very dangerous, and a lot of the accidents have happened not during bad weather, but in the middle of the day. Um, so anyway, it's it's a it's, it's something that it is a federal issue, but we as local your local elected leader. We work together to try to help you to to um, navigate those federal laws as well as federal issues. Thank you. Thank you.